Our next step for attaching this dynamic data is we need to go back into our backend and into the routes up here. So back up into the backend folder, go to the routes folder and to do.js, not the models up here. So you need to locate where we have our new to do, which is thankfully at the top here. And we need to rearrange some of the things we have. So I already have some comments here when, when we create it. So right now we're just passing in standard as default with Flanders and go to Canada. But we can just basically we can mark this out. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to keep those. I'm going to do this and mark these things out like this, because we don't want this data to be passed in like this. We want it to just whatever data it receives, we want it to pass along. And the reason why we can do this also is because we already set up a model, right? So I'm just going to show you the model. It's only allowed to accept those two things. So this is why I am okay with just doing, uh, just sending in the information I'm sending to just be sent to Mongoose, uh, Mongoose, Mongo. And this is why we have the, 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 the schema on top of it to control everything. So with the mongoose instead. Uh, so you can, if you need more than to do author, if you need another thing, you need to add it here uh, for this to work. But I'm going to mark this out and I'm going to do this. So whatever we send from our view will be accepted through our REST API and then sent to Mong MongoDB here. So this is basically all we need to do. Instead of having static data, we're going to accept the data we get from view with our routes here. This is what this will do. So save on this. I'm going to close that one down. I'm just going to leave it here. And back in our to do to do CRUD here from our modules, you can scroll to where you have your new to do here. So we're going to do a little, little bit different in this one. Um, and we're going to rearrange the code a little bit. So just like we have here where I did the, with the edit where we send or we create a, a uh, variable that contains a few different information. So I'm going to do the same with new up here. As you can stay, see here, I also stated add letter, letters, headers and promise. I'm going to remove this now. So for the new, I'm going to do a few different things. I'm going to create a const call required options. I hope this won't affect with the other one. Uh, it shouldn't because it should be scoped in here, but let's stick with it. So required options, and this is a object that will contain a few different things. So in here, I'm going to put the method that we have and the current method we're using is post, right? So this one over here. And the next thing I want to add is headers, headers. And in this one, we're going to put a few different things. Well, we're going to, I'm only going to put one thing in here, basically. So the first thing I'm going to put in is I'm going to declare what I'm going to send. Uh, so content type, and this is application slash JSON. So this basically is we're telling what we're sending along, and we're going to be sending JSON structure, right? So if you don't put this in, uh, the system is going to try to auto detect it and in most cases it will probably work But if something like I don't know if you have a glitch or something it might go like well This is not JSON then it won't accept it and so on. So if you're allowed to and can Declare what you're sending like this So another thing I can we can add in here if we were to need it We can also add like uh, auth tokens. I'm gonna mark it out already because I'm not gonna use them so auth token, if you had any of those, so that could be, for example, be in the state, sorry, up here, if in here, if we had a token, we could place them up here, right? If you had them, but I don't in this case, but you could put them in here. If you're, where do I put tokens? It would be inside the headers here. And you can also see them inside Postman when you're like testing with tokens, if you've been doing JVTs. So that's the first part of it. The next one I want to add is I want to send along the body. Uh, and I can quickly just show you, I'm going to remove this, what the body is here basically. If you go to Postman, I already have a get here, so that's fine. So if we go to Postman, I've already did the for the to do. So you can see down here where we have a prettified, uh, not prettified, but pretty, where it's just structured like this. But you can see the mark here is underscore body. So this is the information we actually send, so the contents, sort of speaking. And here again, we can see the headers. And you can see all the tags we have here. We're accepting cores and if we want tokens and so on, we can allow those in here as well. Uh, but anyways, buddy. 
So this is the reason why we use this word here, uh, body tag, and oh, I'm gonna do like this. And in here, what we need to do is I'm gonna create the object first and then wrap them later. So what I want to send here is uh, the information. I'm gonna use author because that's the word I'm using. So you can see in here, not the word, the key I'm using. So author and to do, right? So those are the two different things I'm going to send. And the other one was to do. So here, I want to bind the data that is being used here to the one we have in our from our input fields, right? So we know this works because we tested in the previous video. Whenever I type something, it was being printed out. So I'm going to go here and type state dot new author and separate this and state dot new to do item. Oops, I'm gonna oops wrong key to do item. So this will now be binded. So whenever we click it, but the issue here is you can see here where I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a key and a, a value basically in an object, but what if go to postman, what they want to receive is pure JSON, right? And the difference basically is that the key value is also wrapped inside quotation marks. So we can quickly convert this by attaching the JSON string if I, oops, dot stringify like this and this is inside of a parenthesis like this and this will now take the data and whatever data gets converted into JSON instead. So that's great. Now we need to of course redo this because we already have the method post up here so I can just do copy this and then put in the request here or if you want it to be looked like this you can do a new line that's fine it's really up to you however you feel it works best for you but now like so then we have our fetch we have a request option that have posts we have headers that tells it the content type we have body that passes in the information so let's go save and let's go test oh we have issues uh, which is because I'm using ref, so state dot value and state dot value. So let's see if that works. Yes, great. Let's say, oh, I did. And let's go see what happens in our browser here. I'm going to open the control log just in case. So let's do one of those. And I'm going to refresh. So you can see now we're actually sending the data to, uh, to Mongoose to Mongo, not Mongoose, where's my, oh, I have it here. Uh, so I can refresh here and we can now see it online on my uh, Atlas server. If I scroll down, scroll down, I can see this one. This is just what I inputted. So this is how you would set it up. Instead of having the static data and just clicking, it was just new and basically the fetch, which was based on the route here, which passed in this information. We're now allowing it to receive the body, which is the content we are sending in. Uh, and then setting whatever we want to send in here and then binding the data to, in this case, our two variables, which is based again on whatever is coming from here since we're using the V model.